the Chinese have announced that they're going to go to the moon. In fact, they will probably beat the United States. Our closest celestial neighbor, the moon, has always been a source of awe and intrigue. Even though we have embarked on numerous lunar missions over the decades, there's always something new that pops up and challenges our current knowledge of the moon. Recently, Michio Kaku has made some revelations that have left us perplexed. What surprising discovery has Kaku made this time? How does it change our contemporary knowledge of the moon? Join us as we explore why Michio Kaku has claimed that the moon is not what you think. It's fascinating to think about why we haven't returned to the moon since 1972. The Apollo 11 mission in 1969 was extraordinary when humans first landed there. But things have changed, and advancements have made a lunar mission more feasible. So much so that a couple of billionaires have set their eyes to turn it into a business. A renowned scientist, Michio Kaku, has recently emphasized on efforts to recreate that historic feat. Let's talk about the private lunar exploration for a brief moment. Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, two visionary entrepreneurs, are advancing in space exploration. Musk aims to establish a multi-planet society, expanding human presence beyond Earth. Meanwhile, Bezos envisions Earth as a pristine park, moving heavy industries to space for a cleaner planet. Both embrace space's resources and potential. Michio Kaku has approved of the notion by saying that our grandkids might be able to have their honeymoon on the actual moon since it's just a three-day trip. Moving on, China is joining the front lines of lunar explorations. Just two years ago, China embarked on an extraordinary mission by sending the robotic spaceship Chang'e 5 to a prominent dark region of the moon, visible from Earth, known as the Oceanus Prosolarum, or Ocean of Storms. This spaceship touched down near a colossal lunar peak named Mount Rumker, marking a significant milestone. For the first time in nearly half a century, lunar samples were collected and conveyed back to Earth. Since the Soviet Union's mission in 1976, no one had accomplished this feat. These fresh lunar samples have unveiled some astonishing revelations, particularly concerning water on the moon. Researchers confirm water exists in tiny glass beads scattered on the moon's surface. The findings of this remarkable study, published in the prestigious Nature Geoscience Journal, have cast a radiant light on the enigmatic nature of lunar water. Moreover, they have sparked a wave of curiosity and anticipation regarding the implications of this discovery for the future of space exploration. As a result, a team of dedicated researchers embarked on an extraordinary journey of scientific exploration meticulously examining a remarkable collection of 117 spherical glass beads. According to the esteemed Michio Kaku, these recent discoveries make a substantial contribution to our ever-expanding knowledge of lunar water. This newfound understanding holds remarkable significance for future explorations of the lunar surface. It enhances our comprehension of water reservoirs on celestial bodies devoid of an atmosphere within our solar system. However, Michio Kaku believes that the scarcity of water findings on the moon can be attributed to the extensive time gap between surface missions. Before the Chang'e 5 mission, the last soft landing on the lunar surface occurred in 1976 during the Soviet Union's Luna 24 mission. This substantial interval of 37 years left a significant void in our exploration efforts. Travel back in time to that brief tacking moment when the Apollo astronauts first stepped foot on the moon's surface. The moon was widely believed to be a barren wasteland with no signs of water. However, the rocks they brought back held a mysterious secret, hinting at the existence of water. Unfortunately, these groundbreaking findings were dismissed as contamination, dampening our thirst for knowledge. Coming back to the present day, this presence of water has been confirmed through space missions of other countries as well, with the most recent one being India's Chandrayaan-3. Using its onboard state-of-the-art instruments, the probe confirmed the presence of water in not just the dark side of the moon, but the sunlit portion as well. Now you might be wondering, why is this important? Well, previously it was widely believed that water could only exist within the dark, shadowed regions of the moon. NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy has confirmed this as well, using its remarkable capabilities, challenging our previous assumptions and reshaping our understanding of lunar water distribution. This astonishing discovery transforms our understanding of the moon's makeup and opens up exciting possibilities for future exploration. 
This very water could be used as a source of energy for our future space endeavors, as well as serve as a vital source for the astronauts on the moon. Now, the story doesn't end there. Scientists have unearthed another astounding discovery, a rare lunar crystal that could potentially unlock an endless source of energy for the entire world. An extraordinary achievement unfolded during the Chang'e 5 mission as the spacecrafts could fully gather it around 173rd Bok, Kanji lunar samples from the moon's surface, safely transported back to Earth. Thus, precious specimens underwent meticulous analysis, unearthing remarkable findings and propelling our knowledge of the moon's composition, geology, and history to unprecedented levels. This crystal, found in lunar basalt particles in 2021, is composed of a substance previously unknown to science, and it holds a key ingredient for nuclear fusion, the very process that fuels the sun and stars throughout our galaxy. Adding to the significance, this new lunar crystal was named Changes Zeit. Why? By the Beijing Research Institute of Uranium Geology. Drawing from the name of Chang'e, the lunar goddess in Chinese mythology, so, why is this discovery such a big deal? Tucked away among the roughly 140,000 lunar particles collected during the Chang'e 5 moon mission, scientists stumbled upon traces of a rare and potentially transformative element, helium-3. This element was discovered in the very same crystal, Change C8. Why? Helium-3 has long been regarded as a possible game-changer, a fuel source that could revolutionize the generation and utilization of clean, highly efficient energy right here on our planet. The scientific community has been excited about helium-3 for quite some time, as it's considered a prime candidate for fueling nuclear fusion. For years, scientists have been captivated by the potential of helium-3 to unlock the secrets of nuclear fusion, a process that fuels stars and could provide limitless clean energy for humanity. The dream of a fusion reactor powerful enough to initiate this remarkable process remains elusive. The prospect of finding helium-3 on the moon has ignited excitement, fueling visions of a future where this valuable resource could revolutionize our energy landscape in a clean and sustainable manner. Michio Kaku believes that helium-3 is unique because it produces significantly less radiation and radioactive waste compared to other elements, making it a cleaner and safer energy source. Presently, our nuclear power plants rely on nuclear fission, a process that generates electricity but also produces radioactivity. Dealing with uranium, plutonium, and other waste materials poses a considerable challenge. If we can harness the power of helium-3 for fusion instead of fission, we may finally have a cleaner, safer, and more efficient method for generating nuclear energy. This has sparked interest in using fusion as a more efficient and secure method of generating nuclear power. The potential of helium-3 is staggering. Just 25 tons of this element, equivalent to the cargo capacity of a space shuttle, could power the entire United States for a year. With such immense energy potential, helium-3 is estimated to have an economic value of approximately $3 billion per ton. The pursuit of harnessing helium-3 has become a global race, attracting the attention of both private companies and countries with space agencies. The possibility of obtaining this resource from the moon has opened up new avenues for exploration, resource exploitation, and even space mining. As the quest for clean and sustainable energy intensifies, the allure of helium-3 continues to grow, driving innovation and shaping the future of energy production. A more mysterious topic of interest for scientists has been the far side of the moon, specifically the South Pole Aitken Basin. This colossal impact crater, considered the moon's oldest, offers crucial insights into the moon's history and the broader solar system. This enigmatic region of the moon is shrouded in darkness and boasts astonishingly deep craters, possible crystallization phenomena, and potentially never before seen minerals. Additionally, delving into its unique features, Scientists can unravel the moon's history and gain insights into broader planetary science. This expansive region, with its vast and well-preserved craters, has the potential to provide clues about impact crater formation, asteroid dynamics, and resource distribution within the moon's crust. China is gearing up for its upcoming lunar mission Chang'e 6, with its sights set on the mysterious South Pole Aitken Basin, located on the moon's far side. 
This ambitious mission will deploy an orbiter, lunar ascent vehicle, lander, and re-entry capsule, all working together to uncover the secrets of this unexplored territory in 2024. Another groundbreaking revelation about the Moon's internal composition has come to light thanks to NASA's GRAIL mission. A recent study published in the journal Nature reveals that the Moon's inner core is a solid ball with a density similar to iron, surrounded by a liquid core that is currently being studied to understand the formation of our solar system better. This knowledge was made possible by the GRAIL project, which launched two spacecraft in 2011 to orbit the Moon and measure gravitational forces between them. By analyzing this data, scientists could determine the probe's positions and gather insights into the Moon's interior. Seismic readings have long been the key to understanding the composition of celestial objects. While NASA's Apollo missions collected seismic data in the past, it was not precise enough to decipher the Moon's inner core. However, recent space missions and laser experiments have provided valuable information. The GRAIL mission and distance measurements using lasers allowed researchers to determine changes in the Moon's gravity and average density. This newfound understanding of the Moon's composition has significant implications. It has led to a re-evaluation of the Moon's magnetic field evolution and provided support for the theory of global mantle overturns, which affects our understanding of the Moon's structure and formation. By constantly transmitting data back to Earth, we continue to uncover the secrets of our celestial surroundings and deepen our knowledge of the universe. With these exciting discoveries, we are left to wonder what other enigmatic craters on the moon hold and whether life can find sustainability beyond our home planet. Once a symbol of mystery, the moon is gradually unveiling its secrets, inspiring us to explore further and expand our understanding of the cosmos.